Hello. This will be a brief online video tutorial of how to do uh, just a few GIS analyses or how to perform a few tasks in QGIS. And these are specifically associated with tasks that students in Geography 4938, 6938, applications in GIS for disease ecology are expected to use in GIS lab number two during the spring 2018 semester. We have two data sets here on screen. First, we have the administrative boundaries of the country of Ghana. These are uh, administrative level two or district level polygons. So each individual polygon represents a district or a county level. And we have our cow underscore weekly data set. This is a simulated data set of livestock outbreaks uh, used for the purposes of illustration and does not represent any real disease data, but we can use it to uh, calculate uh, several epidemiological rates for the purposes of class. What I'd like to show you here are just a couple of techniques in QGIS for class users that are interested in using open source GIS systems or that are Macintosh users or Apple users uh, using um, uh, the iOS or the uh, um, Apple operating system. The uh, two analyses I'm going to show uh, deal specifically with vector data, and those tools are under the vector pulldown uh, here in the top uh, menu bar. And the first one we're going to look at uh, is uh, going to be under analysis tools, and we're going to look at the mean coordinates. One of the tasks in lab two is to calculate a weighted uh, mean center or sp spatial mean. And that means we want to calculate the mean geographic coordinates of the red dot seen on screen. So to calculate the mean coordinates, we'll need our point file. That's our red dots, or our Cal Weekly, as the file is named. And if we want to do a weighted mean, we'll need one of our attributes. And in this case, we will calculate uh, the weighted mean of week one. Those are the number of cattle cases in this first week in this sample data set. And I'm going to go ahead and save to file where I want to uh, place this. So I'm just going to navigate uh, to uh, a directory uh, just here on the uh, C drive, for, in my case, this is just for this example. So I'm going to call this week one mean. And it's already selected to output that file after running the algorithm. So when we execute this, we can see now we have a new purple dot on screen mean coordinate, and that's directly under my cursor. So that's the mean geographic uh, position of the outbreaks weighted by how many cases occurred in week one. Let's just go ahead and quickly repeat that for a uh, second weight. So I'll have to select again Cal Weekly. This time I'm going to select week two. I'm going to save to file again. And I'm just going to change the name from week one to week two. So now I've selected week two, and again, I want it to output, so we'll see it on screen. And we can see now we have a blue dot here that occurs uh, just under my cursor. So we can see that from week one to week two, we see an overall spatial shift from south to north and, and slightly west. So those two mean centers have shifted based on the weighting attribute. Uh, of how many cases happen in each of the two weeks. So the number of cases increased uh, in the north in week two from position uh, of the mean center from week one. Now the second task that I want to illustrate here in QGIS is how to calculate 
uh, excuse me, uh, how to uh, do a spatial join or how to aggregate case data from a point distribution to the polygons that, in this case, lie underneath it. So what we want to do here is aggregate up all of the individual points into each polygon. And as we do that, we also want to capture the attributes of those points. In the case of this example, those points have case data. They have the number of cases in week one, the number of cases in week two, and the total population uh, of this uh, simulated cow population, the total population per point. So we want to aggregate that up to those district levels so we could do some choropleth mapping. Again, this is a vector analysis, so I'm going to find the tools I need under the vector data management tools, join attributes by location. In the ArcGIS community, this is also known as a spatial join. And our target vector here is going to be uh, Ghana admin, and we're going to join the um, cow weekly. The geometric predicate is that we want the target vector to contain the join vector. So we want the admin2 to contain uh, those uh, individual points. We want to take the attributes of the feature. So that just says take the attributes that, uh, uh, that are available. And in our case, we just want the sum. We just want a total count of the cases per week one, the cases per week two, and the total population. So we want those to be aggregated up to the polygon. So sum is all we'll need in this example. You could select others uh, as was the default when you first opened this tool. Now when we run this, we're immediately going to get a temporary file. You can see here this uh, mustard yellow uh, polygon file has been added. Just to illustrate, if I turn off the Ghana admin too, we can see that uh, those uh, polygons that had no uh, points in them are excluded from this in uh, the way this is calculated in QGIS. That is different than if you perform this process in ArcMap, you'll also have all of the other cells present or polygons present with a, a empty value or zero, zero values if it's a count. If we open the attribute table, we can see here that each of the individual attributes associated with the Ghana admin to its ID and name uh, and long name, all of these attributes associated with the polygon file are there. And now we have each of are four other variables that come from the individual points associated uh, now or aggregated up to uh, to the polygon level and we could now do some choropleth mapping or some analysis on this. So in this brief tutorial you should now be able to uh, having a point file uh, loaded in QGIS be able to calculate a weighted mean center you should now be able to go in and, and identify which attributes you're interested in waiting by and perform that analysis. And you should also be able to perform a join by location or a spatial join, which is a mechanism for aggregating points and their associated attributes, aggregating them up to the polygon level. Good luck and keep the questions coming.